Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hi, good Hi, evening. Hello. How are you today? Good evening. Fine, and you? Fine, thank you. Starting the week. <laughs> yeah, starting the week and then starting the last week of this model with you. So I want to congratulate you because you are about to finish one of your English goals, okay? So we are going to finish uh, the year and you have a uh, complete maybe or advance in your uh, second language uh, goal. Okay, so um, tonight I'm going to go uh, to the platform to show you what's the advanced level that they are requesting us to have. Uh, I don't know if you see that they send us a message saying that we need to advance as much as we can and this week we need to complete the platform so i'm going to start sharing my my platform the part of the platform we are working with and then i'm going to start my presentation and uh, to have our speaking practice okay very good uh, so uh last week we let me see okay last week we talked about future using a present, present continuous, and we studied the differences between using will and using going to. So this is an already covered topic. However, uh, if we have a chance, we will have a, like a review uh, coming uh, Thursday. But by now we are going to complete uh, model five uh, in the platform. So for today, we need to uh, have advanced to the knowledge check. So I would like to ask who already did it? Can there is a knowledge check? Me teacher. Okay, okay, Katia and David. Okay, how, how, how difficult or how easy uh, it was? ¿Qué tan fácil o difícil fue? So, so. Okay, so, so, very good, but you already did it, okay? Okay, in this uh, part, the idea was uh, complete the invitation mm -hmm. with the present continuous with a future, okay? And then that you use uh, the pronoun and the verb in brackets. Uh, so, for example, uh, number one, what are you going to do tonight, okay? Uh, because remember that the verb uh, becomes with uh, the, the main verb takes the ing form and then you use according to the to the pronoun okay uh, the, in the case the verb to be number two um, are you doing are, are you doing you know? anything on Friday night do you to see a movie okay that's an offering Number three, it's like be and have. So we, we are uh, having. having friends over a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? That's an invitation. Okay, number four, it's a you and stay. Are you going to stay in town next weekend? Do, do are you, you staying? Are you staying? Así le salió. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay, great. Thank you, Katia. Very good. Do you want to go for a hike? For a hike is una caminata, verdad? O un tour eh, en, el, en el centro de la ciudad. And in, in the part two, it said that you have to complete the responses with be going to and use the verbs in brackets. So, eh, are you going to be here on Saturday? Or no, it says I am going to be here on Saturday. Así era al final, verdad? I'm going. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. Ah, con el apóstrofe, porque yo yes, me yes. Apostrophe. en un espacio que tuve las respondí, pero ya después no pude darle seguimiento, así que por eso lo estoy retomando ahorita. Ok, I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Están como negociando, ¿verdad? Una fecha, ¿cuándo sí. podemos hacer X cosa? Well, my father is going to visit. Right? Yes. My brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be at home. Very good. Sorry, I I can't. I 
It is a work over there. I'm, I am going I'm to work. work. I'm, I'm, going. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to work. Overnight tonight. How about tomorrow night? Okay, four. Can we go to a late show? I, it sería, I am going to stay, right? I'm going to stay. I'm, sí. I'm. Yes, todo va contractado entonces. Yes. I'm going to stay at, of, at the office till. Ese till, recuerden que es until, ¿verdad? Hasta. Pero aquí lo han recortado y queda till. Until or till seven. Okay? And that's it. Okay. So you have so. So thank you, David, and thank you, Katia, for illustrating us in order to complete it uh, well. So now we are going to, tonight we are going to work on lesson 5.5, 5. 5. which lesson objective says the, um, the verbs tell and ask will be introduced in a conversation between two people talking on the phone. Okay? Um, tell, in este caso, es decir, uh, por ejemplo, I'm uh, Grandma, please tell me a story. Abuelita, cuéntame una historia o dime una historia, ¿verdad? Y ask, en este caso es pedir o preguntar también, ¿verdad? But those uh, two verbs are uh, used on a conversation uh, between two people uh, talking on the phone. So, uh, you can go to the platform and then you will listen and watch a video that says, can I take a message? Can I take the message? Okay. I'm sorry, can I take a message? Eh, Puedo tomar un mensaje? It's like when they call you and they ask for you, but you are not there. So you um, decide to leave a message, okay? So, uh, or the person who's calling you decides to leave a message. So uh, it says by the end of this session, you will be able to take and give a message using tell and ask, okay? Entonces, uh, yo les traje una, en adición a lo que tienen acá en la plataforma, eh, I have here another material for sharing, ¿ok? Les voy a compartir esta otra pantalla, my screen. Ok, okay let me see if I have it there. Yes. Ok, esta, esta presentación ya la hemos visto porque tiene que ver con los modal auxiliares, pero ¿por qué la vamos a volver a ver? Porque en estas conversaciones siempre hacemos uso del can. Can I take a message? ¿Puedo tomar el mensaje? O podríamos decir, would you like, would you like to leave a message? Eh, ¿Le gustaría, verdad, dejar un mensaje? Eh, so, it's more like, more polite, okay? So, what we are going to do is to go here. I have here this conversation for you to practice. And says, hello, this is Bo Chen calling. May I speak to Lin Pan? Eh, vean que ahí está usando otro modal, el modal may, ¿verdad? May, ya lo habíamos visto antes. Please hold, hold a moment. Ese please hold a moment es por favor espere un momento, ¿verdad? Manténgase en línea, no cuelgue, don't hang up, hang up. I'll see if she is in. Es como voy a ver si está aquí, ¿verdad? O si está dentro del lugar donde la persona también está respondiendo. Eh, and then, a moment later, the person says, hello, I'm sorry. I'm afraid Lynn can take the call at this, at this time. So, um, uh, I mean, she's taking a bath now. May I take a message or would you like to have her return your call? Or would you like to have her return your call? Could you please, vea, está usando un modal más, más polite. Could you please tell her that I will drop by and discuss with her the oral report of our English class this afternoon around two o'clock after I come back from Taipei City? Sure, I'll give her the message. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Or goodbye. Okay, so that's a short, a sample conversation. Uh, of using, in this case, can and may, just to have a review. So what I want you to do is to practice the conversation in pairs. So I will divide you once again in breakout rooms. And then you can, you can leave a different message or you can take the same conversation and just repeat 
but but the idea is that you can uh, try you 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 try to innovate the conversation to rewrite a new conversation and to give a, a little bit different message okay entonces nos vamos a dividir en parejas verdad tomando esa conversación como base vamos a tratar de llamar de preguntar por alguien y de dejarle un mensaje porque la persona no está ok so uh, is it clear está clara la instrucción de lo que vamos a hacer Preguntas? Yes. No questions? Okay, very good. So let me, let me, okay. So let's see, three. Okay, there we go. Uh, I will send you the, the picture. Le voy a enviar la imagen. Oops. En lugar de Paul, Paul, ¿cuál, cuál quisiste? Tu nombre. El mío. Uh -huh. El tuyo mejor. Ah, no, porque yo voy a estar la tía. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí. <ríe> This is Julie calling. Mm -hmm. I can speak to Katia. Mm -hmm. Ahí sería lo mismo. Please hold a moment. I'll see mm -hmm. if she's in. Mm -hmm. Bueno, es que yo no cambiaría todo eso. Hello, I'm sorry, I'm afraid Katia can take the call at this time. She's Perfect. taking a bath now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm She's <laughs> cocinando. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh 
moment, and this moment, she's taking a bath now. May I take a message or would you like to have a return your call? Could you please tell her that I will drop by and discuss with her the oral report for our English class this afternoon around four o'clock after I come back from Bogota City. Sure, I give her the message. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Goodbye. Que tal? Taking. Que significará bat? Taking a bat. Taking a bat. Pero uh, quiero ponerle otra cosa, pero no sé cómo. Porque taking a bat creo que es que se está, se está tomando un baño. Le voy a poner she's cooking. Yeah. She's cooking right now. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Yes, taking a bath is like <laughs> taking a shower. It means, uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. I will go to the Okay, and I will call you. <laughs> And, and if she can uh, call you back later. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your help. Okay, you're welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, okay. okay. It was great. It was. Okay, hello. How was the conversation? How was the practice? Fine, teacher. I listen to you speaking a lot and I like it very much. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, that's right. the idea. That's the idea that you practice. Okay, I'm going to share once again the conversation. Okay, for you to decide uh, which team is going to start first. ¿Quién va a comenzar? Voluntarily. Voluntariamente. Ok, who wants okay. to? Yo los escuché bien animados ahí conversando, okay. haciéndole cambios. <laughs> <laughs> ok, um, David, would you like to start? Yes, yes okay. teacher. Very good. Ok, um, okay. tell us. Uh, ok, you were working with Crisia, right? Yes. Okay, very good. You can start now. Okay. Uh, hello, this is Dave uh, calling. May I speak to Chrysia? Please hold a moment. I see if she in. Hello. I'm sorry. I'm afraid Chrysia can take the call at this time. She's cooking right now. May I take a message or... Would you like to have her return your call? Mm -hmm. Could you please tell her that I will drop by and discuss with her the presentation for our English class this afternoon around four o'clock after I come back from Bogota City? Sure, I give her the message. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, very good. Congratulations. Good team. You innovate the conversation. You did some changes. Very good. Yes. Right, right. Okay, congratulations. 
Okay, uh, Noé. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, Who was your partner? Uh, I think Julie was, right? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, okay, very good, okay. Okay. Uh, hello, this is Noé calling. Uh, may I speak to Marta? Hello, Noé. Let me see if she is in. Okay. Hello. I'm afraid that she isn't here. I think she is buying some food. So may I take a message or would you like to have her the return of their call? Oh, thanks. Uh, can you tell her please that the um, the next meeting will be on Friday at eight o'clock, please. Okay, sure. I will give her the message. Okay, thank you very much and have a good night. You're welcome. Goodbye, Noe. Bye bye. bye bye. Very good. Bye. Congratulations. Good. Good job, team. You innovate also the conversation. Okay, this is Katia's and Julie's time yes. for practice. Okay. Okay. Hi. okay. Hello, this is Julie Hernandez calling. May I I I speak to Katia Lima? Please hold a moment. I'll see if she is in. Hello, I'm sorry. Anna Frey Katia can take the call at this time. She's taking a nap now. May I take a message or could you like to have her return your call? Can you please tell her that I will wait to see in the park at three o'clock for we going to cinema? Sure, I'll give her the message. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Very good. Congratulations. You innovate the conversation also. Very good. Solo no escuché una cosita. I will wait for her. Que la voy a esperar. Yes. Ah, no yes. escuché. Entonces, yes, you did it, right? Okay, that I will, I will wait, wait for her. For her. Okay. La voy a esperar, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, at the park. Okay, at the park. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay, my dears, you did a great job uh, with this conversation. So now we are going to pass to the next part of this uh, session. That is, oops, sorry. Let me share the other, the other presentation I have for you. But it has to do with two verbs, okay? The verb saying and the verb tell and the verb ask in English, okay? because they are very similar and sometimes they can cause a confusion. So that's why it's important that we know what's the difference between each verb. Okay, so for example, we say hello, we say good morning, we say good afternoon, we say something to someone, we say so, we say a few words, we say no more, we say for sure, we say, we say for certain, we say a prayer. When we pray, we are saying a prayer. We say yes and we say no. For example, with the little kids, when, when they are starting learning to speak, we say, hi, mama, please say hello to your grandma or please say hello to, the, to your grandpa. And they say, hello, mama, hello, grandpa. Okay, because they are learning how to say hello, decir, verdad? Decir hola, decir buenos días, decir buenas tardes, decir algo a alguien, decir nada, eh, decir así, decir a few words, unas pocas palabras, ¿verdad? Decir no more, no más. Y dije ya no más, ¿verdad? It's stop, basta. Eh, for sure, decir por supuesto. Eh, for certain, por seguro. Say a prayer, decir una oración. Decir sí o no. 
Okay, tell. Um, tell es como contar y también decir en cierta medida, pero somebody, somebody wants name. Decir tu nombre o decirle, eh, decirle a alguien eh, el nombre de uno, ¿ok? Eh, so, eh, to tell somebody the way. Decirle a alguien cómo, cómo llegar, ¿verdad? A un lugar. Eh, to tell somebody so. Decirle a alguien eh, así. To tell a secret. To tell a joke. To tell a lie, ¿ok? Uh, to tell one from another, uh, to tell someone's fortune, to tell a story, to tell the difference, to tell the truth, to tell the time, to tell your name, ¿ok? Eh, decir su nombre, la hora, la verdad, la diferencia, una historia. Decir eh, la fortuna, ¿verdad? Cuando le leen la suerte de la mano. <risa> eh, Decir de, de uno a otro, ¿verdad? Es como estoy diciendo algo de alguien. O una mentira. A, a lie. Or a joke. Una broma. Un secreto. ¿Ok? To ask. Ask a question. Hacer una pregunta. Ask a favor. Pedir un favor. Ask the price. Pedir el precio. Um, let's see. To ask uh, the time. Preguntar la hora, that's also used with ask. To ask after somebody, eh, preguntarle o pedirle eh, a, a, a alguien, ¿verdad? To ask around, andar por ahí preguntando. To ask for something, preguntar por algo. To ask for somebody, preguntar por alguien. To ask for directions, preguntar por direcciones. To ask for permission, pedir permiso. To ask somebody out, pedirle a alguien que salga, ¿verdad? De un recinto. To ask about, preguntar acerca de. Ok, so once I have some examples here, I want to show you here the difference. Ok, to say it's, uh, ok, this is the difference between say and tell. Ok, esta es la diferencia entre eh, say and tell. Say is used to report someone's direct speech. Es para, eh, utilizado para reportar eh, lo, que alguien, el, 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 lo que alguien directamente está diciendo, ¿verdad? For example, eh, say hello to your aunt, lo que yo les decía. Dígale hola a su tía, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que usted tiene que decirle a su tía, hola. Tell. Tell is used along with, older, with orders and advice and also an, in indirect speech. Entonces, dice que tell es utilizado junto con órdenes y advice. Advice es consejo, ¿verdad? Sugerencia. Y además se refiere eh, con un, eh, digamos, no se refiere directamente a lo que usted tiene que decir, sino que de manera indirecta. For example, Sachin told me the exact location. Sachin me dijo la dirección exacta, pero en ese momento yo no estoy parafraseando cuál es la dirección exacta, ¿verdad? Como cuando le digo, say hello to your aunt, dígale eh, puntualmente hola, ¿verdad? Sino que aquí solo digo que esa ching me dijo la dirección exacta, pero no digo la dirección que me dio, ¿ok? So that's the difference. Here I have another one, so I, 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 I'm sorry, I apologize. Cuando la hice grande se me deformó un poquito, pero vamos a ver si así, ¿ok? Say versus tell. Ok, this is another example. You say something to someone. Usted le dice algo a alguien. For example, Helen said, Helen dijo, I love you to her dad. Le dijo, y literal, ¿verdad? entre comillas, le dijo, te amo a su papá. Raf say, says, Raf says, he has a new job. Raf dice que él tiene un nuevo trabajo. I said that I was sorry. Le dije que yo lo sentía. You tell someone, usted le dice a alguien something, algo. ¿Vean la diferencia? Es al revés, ¿verdad? Usted le dice, you say, usa say, say, excuse me, for something to someone. But you, you use tell for someone to say something, ¿ok? 
Helen told her dad that she loved him. Aquí ya no estoy diciendo directo y exacto lo que Helen le dijo a su papá, sino que estoy refiriendo qué fue lo que ella dijo, pero ya no las palabras literales que usó Helen. So, Helen told her dad that she loved him. Helen le dijo a su papá que lo amaba. Pero ya no digo literal como ella le dijo, te amo. ¿Ok? Ralph told me that she has a new job. Ralph me dijo que... Eh, él tiene, eh, que él tiene un nuevo trabajo. Se parece un poco, ¿verdad? A la, a la anterior, solo que aquí, that, me dijo que, that. I, I told uh, Yuki that I was sorry. Le dije a Yuki que lo sentía. That, vean que cuando uso tell, that, ¿ok? Exception, tell a joke, tell a story, tell a lie, tell the truth. He told a joke. She tells uh, good stories. She told a lie. I always say, tell the truth. Okay. So once again, I have here, uh, hello, say, uh, once again, say hello, say good morning, say afternoon, say good morning, say good, say good afternoon, etc. Uh, you say something, you say nothing, you say so, a few words, no more, for sure. Third time, you tell a story, you tell a lie, you tell a joke, you tell a secret. You tell the truth, you tell the time, you tell the difference, you tell someone your name, you tell someone the way, you tell someone's fortune. You ask for a question or you ask a question, You ask a favor, you ask the price, you ask the time, you ask for something, you ask after somebody, you ask around. Okay, so what we are going to do now is once again to go to the breakout rooms and I will ask you to please write at least two sentences using each verb. Say, tell, and ask, okay? Vamos a ir de nuevo a los breakout rooms. Y le voy a pedir que elaboremos por lo menos dos oraciones utilizando say, utilizando tell y utilizando ask. ¿Ok? ¿Es it clear? Es... Yes, sí, sí, se comprendió. Ok, very good. So, let's go once again to the breakout rooms and let's practice. No, eh? Okay. I said yes. I say to to he is the doctor. 
That she has, she has a new job. She has a new job. Yeah. Other, uh, my brother, my brother told me a secret. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Maybe it's I said my name. No, or I told you. Uh, I told my name. Yeah, that's okay. So I ask my co workers for some help. Okay. Uh... I went to start department and asked the price for a jacket. Okay. Um, just say hello to your friends every time that you see them. Okay. I... My dear, did you finish? Terminaron ya? No, teacher. No yet. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, how how um, how long will it take? ¿Cuánto tiempo más le va a llevar? Three minutes. Three more minutes. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, nice. I will wait for you and I will go to the other breakout room okay. sessions. See you later. I'm going to Mari. Going to. When I'm going to, I say yes. goodbye when I'm going to my home. When I. Okay. Going to my home. Mm -hmm. Yo digo adiós cuando me voy a casa. Me estoy Hoy. yendo. Estoy. Entonces tendría que llevar ay. Sería ay. I'm. Ah. I'm going to. I'm going to my.
say hello, for example, that's a, as the teacher said. It's like a, you request someone to say something to someone else. Um. It's like um, uh, you have to say hello to your new to your new co-workers, for example. That that was I understood. Uh, okay, I think you use say when you are you use say in a conversation uh, when you are talking when you are talking uh, direct to other person or Oh, but when you when you you tell something about a, another person or in not in a chat, mm -hmm. you you tell. Say is direct and tell is indirect. Uh, I think this, this. I think this. That's the. That's the key. It's like uh, I say hello to my partners, and then I told her because you are talking with other person about the third person. But that. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I I like to to listen uh, you discussing because that's the way we learn. Okay. Yes, it's correct. I, I got confused because when you use say and tell. Okay. The difference is when you use say is because you are you will say literally what you want to say. Okay. But you use tell when you are referring to a third person what you said to other person. Okay. Cuando yo le refiero a una tercera persona o a otra persona, lo que yo le dije a una tercera persona, ahí estoy diciendo told, estoy como contando la historia, ¿verdad? De lo que, de lo que yo dije, what I said. Ok. Sí, pero cuando yo, cuando yo le digo a usted directamente algo así, literal, eso es uh -huh. say. I'm okay. saying you the instruction for the class. ¿Verdad? Ahorita les estoy diciendo yeah. con, con say directamente, así literal, ¿verdad? La instrucción de la clase. Pero luego yo puedo ir con Mr. Science y le digo, Mr. Science, I told my students about the verb say and tell. Y okay. ya le estoy contando a él, ¿verdad? Usando uh -huh. tell. I'm telling him, le estoy contando a él lo, lo que yo trabajé con ustedes. Ya es refiriéndole a un tercero lo que hice con ustedes de manera directa. Ok. No sé si eso okay. lo aclara, lo confunde un poquito. No, teacher, that's ok. No, okay. I, I Pero, think yeah. we are... We are not uh, that lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, I will we call on the way. <laughs> yeah, <I> way. <laughs> okay, I will call you uh, to the main uh, room in order to share your sentence. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Very good. See you then. Hello. I don't hear. The teacher. Ah, okay. Can you follow the microphone? Yeah, I, I, I open it. <laughs> Estoy llamando a todo mundo, pero ya, ya vienen los demás. Okay. okay. Very good. Just let wait, let's wait for uh, Katia and Julie in order that all of us can listen the exercises. Okay. Let's see what happened to them. Quiero ver qué les pasó. Vamos a share la presentación. Okay, because I have more here. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, let's see if they are here. Yes, they are here. Okay, my dears. Um, how was the practice? Who would like to start? ¿A quién le gustaría comenzar? Hello? Okay. 
Ok, eh, sí. vamos a empezar con, si les parece, la vez pasada comenzó, en, la, en el ejercicio anterior comenzó David, le vamos a pedir ahora a Katia, porque ellas fueron las últimas en la ocasión anterior. Ok. Ok, very good. Ok. Tell us. I say the doctor, I have a headache. Ok, very good. Mm -hmm. I told the doctor that I have a headache. Ok, very good. The doctor asked me how I felt. Mm -hmm. Ok. Julie, <laughs> what about your, yes. your examples? My examples, uh, can you say me the doctor's name? Ok, but it's, can you... Can you tell me? Can, sería más, can you tell me? Mm. Ajá. Eh, tal vez podría ser, decir, can you say the doctor I'm on my way? Puedes decirle al doctor que voy de camino. Uh, uh -huh. ah, literal, dígale esto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Another example, Julie? Um, con say, me ocurrió otro. <laughs> Pero con tell, eh, I tell me my mom I'm hungry. I told, I told, I told my I mom I'm hungry. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, yes. Okay, uh, that's okay. Uh, another will ask. My mom asked me I want to do what I want to do want to eat. My mother asked me that I have to wait. Me pidió que esperara. No, me, me preguntó que sí que quería comer. Ah, ok. My mom asked me what I wanted for... I for want, I want to eat. What I want to eat or that I wanted for lunch or dinner, depending on the, mm. on the time. You can use also the, the time. Ok, Julie, very good. Uh, David, what about your examples? Okay. Uh, she say her mom, I have a new job. Okay. He said, uh, le dijo, he pasado, said, le dijo a su mamá. She said, okay. I he have said, a new job. I have a new job. Very good. Yeah. Uh, my sister told me that she has a new job. Okay. Uh, my brother told me a secret. Okay. Uh, please ask a teacher out for the homework. Okay, very good. So okay. who was, thank you. Who was your partner? Uh, Elisa, Christian. Right? Okay, okay. Uh, okay, go ahead. Katia, no, Katia ya estuvo. No, Christian. Christian. Christian, okay, very good. <laughs> Uh, I say goodbye when I'm going to my home. Uh huh. Uh, ask my mo ask my mother if we can go to the party. Uh mm -hmm. And I did I tell the truth all the time. The truth, con Z the al final. Truth, truth. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Uh, with ask, or you already did it, right? Ya hizo una con ask. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Thank you, Crisia. Uh, okay. Now, uh, Noé and Elizabeth. Okay. Um, okay, Elizabeth. Uh, ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a privilege <laughs> or it's a punishment. <laughs> okay. Uh, I told my mother about my bad grades. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I asked my sister about a favor, uh -huh. and I told my, I told, uh, I told my best friends about my brother's secrets. Okay. Very good. Now, Noé, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I say good morning every day in my office. Okay. Um, I 
uh, told the truth to my interviewer mm -hmm. and I lost my watch, so I asked uh, the time. Okay, very good. Okay, very, very nice example, very good, very well applied. In honor to your time, we are going to stop here, but tomorrow we are going to talk about the difference of tell, say, speak, and talk, okay? Eh, ahora estuvimos viendo say, tell, and ask, pero mañana vamos a ver tell, say, speak, and talk, okay? And we are going to have some exercises, and then we will eh, close this this part of the of the class of the uh, i mean section five okay uh, so thank you very much for coming uh, to the class uh, i encourage you to be here tomorrow in order to continue learning but i encourage you to advance as much as you can in the platform okay thank you very good okay. see you tomorrow my dear good see night. you tomorrow bye 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 bye, bye. bye, -bye.